Xbox again. So, this video I want to talk about, I just want to talk about, well, Europeans, well, just not Europeans, but international players come to America to play basketball. And you guys see the title right there. Well, why are international players, such as European players, succeeding in the NBA more than white Americans are? You know, that was, also, that was a question that I was really wanting that thing to be answered. And I wanted to know how you guys thought about this because uh, it just got it in my head and, you know, when I was watching ESPN and, of course, my dad will say, what else do I want to watch? <laughs> but still, I, I, I was, I was, I was like, wondering about that too. Like, why is that happening? Because usually, who was the last white superstar in the NBA? Like, let's be real, who was the last white superstar? Larry Bird. Like, Larry Bird was the last white superstar. You know, that's pretty much it. And I know, you got, I know you got some white guys who are here, but they're not actually white Americans. These are guys from German, you know, what, Rush, Russia, or Ukraine, Ukrainian, you know, Israel, you know, from Europe. Most of these guys, well, all of them are not even from America. You, you'll be lucky if you see a white American playing. And to be honest, the reason why is, you know, it's because one person actually told me this, and it was actually true, is that if white people, you know, <laughs> don't feel like they could dominate dominate a sport, they just they just leave. Because look at it, there are a lot of black people that are playing basketball. So, so my, you know, someone told me, and it, and like I said, it is true. If white white people feel like they can't dominate that sport, like any sport, then they just won't do it. I mean, imagine why a lot of white people will play hockey, even though hockey is never that popular. You know, no one doesn't really care about hockey. How are you right? And and also Dirk Nowitzki, Dirk Nowitzki. Yeah, I know he's white, but you know, but the German guy, you know, he's great, and he's a superstar. But people just don't praise this guy. You know, white Americans do not praise Dirk Nowitzki. He's not the great white hope. Okay, he's not the white superior. If the clan does not like you, then, then you know what it is. They, you know, thing about the KKK is that, is that they'll kiss any white person's ass. But not just any white person's ass. You had to be American. If you're an immigrant, they'll say get out of here. That's why when Larry Bird was was with the Boston Celtics, he was a superstar. They were kissing his ass all day. So that's what happened. So. Pretty much just like that. <laughs> that's pretty. That's probably the reason why they got Europeans in the NBA anyway, because there's not a lot of white Meri There's not a lot of white people in, uh, in in the NBA anyway. That's you know, black people are taking over. I guess. I guess you could say that. So, that's what I gotta say. So, why do you guys think that Europeans, well, Europeans or internationals players, are succeeding over white Americans in the NBA? That's all I gotta say. Let me know what you guys think. Contact me on Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. And let's let everybody know this. Dirt Nowitzki is not the new Larry Bird. Okay? Not. Facebook, MySpace, and Twitter. Y'all know what this is. Deuces.